Welcome to Understanding Human Anatomy. In this video we're going to begin a discussion of the pelvis and the pelvic cavity. So I'm going to start by sketching in the hip bone or the os coxae. The view of the os coxae which I'll draw is a lateral view and we'll start up here and I'm moving to the posterior like so. And I need to sketch in two structures on the os coxae right at the beginning here. And One is a foramen and this is the obturator foramen. And let me label that. and we'll draw a line to it. There. And the other structure I need to sketch in is the acetabulum. And the acetabulum is the socket that receives the head of the femur. And the acetabulum has a notch in it, which I'm going to put in here and clean this up a little bit here. Like so. So let me label the acetabulum. draw a line to it. Now, the os coxae is actually made up of three bones it, that fuse into the single bone, the os coxae. These three bones are the ilium, the ischium, and the pubis. Now, unfortunately, there are no real landmarks to show where these bones fuse, where their lines of fusion are. So we have to estimate where they are. So they all come together in the acetabulum. So what I usually do is start in the middle of the acetabulum and draw a line through the notch, like so. Then I take and essentially divide the acetabulum approximately into thirds. So we'll draw another line here. And a third line like so. 
Okay. So then we have our three bones. Our ilium, our ischium, and our pubis. And, and what I'm going to do is fill each of these with a different color. So I will use blue for the ilium. And we'll use green for the ischium. I remember the color in the S tablum as well. And we'll use orange for the pubis. So let me label these bones for you. The ilium Ischium and the pubis. Like so. Now, there are a number of structures that we need to label in uh, these bones. And I'm going to start up here with a spine, the anterior. superior iliac spine. And this is a small bony projection that you can palpate on yourself. If you just feel the anterior part of your hip, you can feel this projection. There's another projection just inferior to it, and this one is the anterior inferior iliac spine. Let me draw a line to it. And these spines form areas of attachment for some muscles or ligaments. The anterior superior iliac spine does have muscles attached, and also the inguinal ligament attaches to it. The anterior inferior iliac spine has muscles attaching to it. On the posterior side, we also have two spines. We have the posterior superior.
here. And the posterior inferior iliac spine. right here. And these two are not really for muscle attachment, although there may be muscles attaching in this area. Uh, they are there to conform to the, the surface of the sacrum, and the sacrum does articulate in this area. Uh, on the surface that would be deep to our, our computer screen. Then this area up here between the two superior iliac spines, between the anterior superior and the posterior superior iliac spines, is called the iliac crest. And because this is a rather long structure, I'll draw a number of lines to indicate that it runs the whole range here. like so. Now, we see a couple of deep notches in the ilium and in the ischium on the posterior surface. And they are separated by a spine. The spine is the ischial spine. right here and the larger notch above it is the superior sciatic notch and we'll draw the line to it and then the one inferior to it would that is all on the ischium is the inferior sciatic notch And these two notches will be converted into passageways or foramen by ligaments. And we'll see that in a later video. Now, 
this rounded area on the inferior of the ischium is the ischial tuberosity. The ischial tuberosity and we actually sit on our ischial tuberosities. Some people refer to the ischial tuberosity as the sitz bone. Now the obturator foramen hollows out a lot of the pubis and part of the ischium and converts the pubis um, into two arms or rami. We have a superior and an inferior pubic ramus. So the superior pubic ramus would be here on the superior surface or superior side of the obturator foramen and then the inferior pubic ramus would be on the anterior medial side of the obturator foramen. And the inferior pubic ramus merges with the ramus of the ischium which is here and the inferior pubic ramus and the ischial ramus are often described as the ischial pubic ramus So the ischial pubic ramus is just the combination of pubic ramus and ischial ramus. All right, those are the major features of the oscoxy the three bones that make up the oscoxy, the ilium, ischium, and pubis. In the next video, I want to discuss how the left and right oscoxy articulate with each other and then articulate with the sacrum to form the pelvis. Thank you for your attention.